of our love, the demonstration of our love that due to our pious elders in our silsila, due to the effort and deen has come into our life. So always before doing dhikr, this is the tariqah of Naqshbandi silsila, that first we do ithal, we send the thawab to our pious elders. So the Quranic verses that we will recite, they are related to the sheikhs and the thawab is given to them. This is called khatam khwaj gan. So this is their favor upon us, that they worked hard, they made effort. Allah Ta'ala's deen came to us, they told us the method, how to do it. The fuyuzad and the blessing, blessings arrived to us. This is our haq, they write upon us that whenever we sit down to do dhikr, we should not forget them. Rather, we should do ithali, thawab for them. We should ask, do the duas and recitation for the thawab to be sent to them. And when you do ithali, thawab, as soon as you recite the barakat of these kalamat, then immediately Allah Ta'ala delivers that barakat to them. SubhanAllah. And with their name that this person is sending this to you. And then the du'as, they come into being. And then with the fadl of Allah, they also reply. That Allah Ta'ala has prepared this. And they do du'as there. And Allah, Allah give him promotion. And give him elevation that he is remembering me. He's done du'a for me. Uh, I remember an individual who... Anyway, uh, it's better if I don't say this. So anyway... Khatam Khwajgan, the meaning of that is this, that we do ithale thawab. And this is Khatam Khwajgan, it's not a drama that we're reciting kalamas for nothing, no. Every kalama has a connection with a sheikh, a pious elder, every kalama. So those kalamats we recite, so make this niya, that this thawab, alhamdulillah, collectively we are sending to them. So when you do this, then a lot of benefit you will get in dhikr due to this. Then their for you and their blessings will start to come upon you. So these, all these kalma will recite Muslim, different teachers, that's what we call this Khatam Khwajgan. And when you do Isal of the recitation, then after that we would do the dhikr of Allah. And then the dhikr of Allah takes place in others, Marakba. So I see some people, the kalama, they sit while we do dhikr, and then when we do dhikr, they run off. They don't know that what is dhikr. They think the kalamat that we're reciting, that's dhikrullah. Alhamdulillah, that is dhikrullah. But this is just the start, the introduction. The real dish is about to come. Yes, when that you are arriving to Allah and you get up and you go away. What is that? Do you understand what I'm saying? So never leave the majlis together. Rather, the pious people say, say that as long as the shaykh is present in the khanka, then stay there. Stay there. You don't know which point Allah's rahmah that will come unto him and you will also attain that faith and that blessings. So why are you in a rush to leave? Why are you running away? Yes, yes, there's a pain in your stomach. You've got an appointment, there's an emergency. Okay, otherwise, complete the action for which Allah Ta'ala sent you. Yes, just like the good dish is given to you, very nice halwa, that until you don't lick it with your fingers, the bottom of that dish, leave it. They'll say, stop now, stop now. Have you eaten enough? Then you leave it right at the end. You take the total enjoyment, though it's very nice and tasty. You wipe that plate with your fingers. Same way Allah's rahmah, you've come to attain it. So as long as the rahmah is there, as long as the shaykh is present, then Allah Ta'ala's rahmah continues with Allah's blessings. So that's the system of Allah Ta'ala's. Until that, stay there, until that time. Where the, I'm not forcing you, I'm not saying I'm upset or etc. No, no, astaghfirullah, no point. But these are just some principles and tips that I'm sharing with you about the sabwuf. These are tips, very valuable and precious tips that I'm sharing with you. So to attain these in Makkah Mukram, I remember when I sat with Hazrat Sahib, Wallahi, from morning, the sweat is there, eating, drinking, the question didn't arise that that was their blessed happiness. So I do the same. Until the night, everybody would leave. But this fakir would not leave. This humble servant would not leave. Yes, so take my tip. I said, this cannot be. The greatest ibadah is this, to be sat with my shaykh at this time. Yes. So I said that if he doesn't push me, shove me, then I will not get up. Everybody would depart. Nobody would be left. Only Hazrat Sahib be left. And I, Hazrat, and the Kaaba. The Kaaba. And the third portion of the night. And imagine the sights at that time. 
So you just need courage and determination, but we don't have determination. We just want to run. Let me quickly go. Whatever you come to guess it with ease, do dua. As, as long as Allah, your fazl is here. Tomorrow will I get this majid or not? These things disappear, my brothers. They disappear. They vanish. So this is Khatam Khwaj Khan. From the beginning until the end, the barakah, this majlis is full of barakah, blessings. Everything that uh, run, 10 minutes, 15 minutes in advance, come and sit down, prepare, have respect. And alhamdulillah, as soon as you sit, start reciting the Rushri, slowly, quietly with your tongue. Yes, and pay attention towards Medina until your shaykh comes. And before they get 10 minutes in advance, come and sit down in your places, select your places, and sit down with respect and sukoon, and wait and listen. After that, the, with a deep heart, say that the majlis is going with a heavy heart, get up, the, this majlis of rahmah and mercy is ending, and do your du'as, whatever you need for your children, for your awlad. This is the time for du'as, brothers. This time for those, where else will you get du'as? Accepted du'as, alhamdulillah. So this much, let's understand it, very valuable things. And this whole khatam khwaj khan. So khatam khwaj khan, we start with the du'as kalamats, uh, for, uh, and we do the du'as, and we Allah, ask Allah to send it to the wise elders, and then we do dhikr. Allah Ta'ala doesn't accept anything, until unless you send the root sharif to the master of Medina. So in the beginning, we start with the root. Every kalama, we start with the root. And at the end, we end with the root, because everything, success comes from there. Sayyidina so, Hazrat Ali uh, narrated that do du'as as many as you want, but if before and after the du'a there's no durushi, then you get no success. So Umar radiallahu anhu is stating that you cannot get success until before and after your du'a there's the ru- Take the wasila of Rasulullah. Until then you cannot get success. That for example, you don't have the... Uh, no love, nothing, no jibbutin. Until you don't take the wasila of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi Remember this. Incomplete will be incomplete. They will be empty. Will not be complete. This universe is empty. This is incomplete, totally incomplete. Without Mustafa, it is empty and void. So all these points are tips and advices. If you want to attain Allah's nearness, you want to attain something from this majlis, then be respectful of these points, these small minor points. These are big points though. The more you respect these points and implement them, inshallah, then the path to Allah's qurb will open up for you. So now we'll do khatam khwajram. We'll start that, alhamdulillah. Recite the ruchri.